This is the first video lesson in the multi-step dimensional analysis examples. You're being asked to convert 323 milliliters to cups. I'm a, I like to use the method of GWR to help organize my problems and the G it stands for given. So what number is given to us in the problem? 323 milliliters and the W stands for want. We want cups. So what we want to stop and do is we want to figure out what is the relationship between milliliters and cups. So these multi-step problems start to get a little more difficult because we need to start using our additional resources that you've been given in class. This is um, the conversions you should know handout. And in this conversions you should know handout, you have this box that helps you convert units of volume. Now our problem is trying to um, help us or is asking us to convert milliliters to cups and we want to scan all of these conversions in the volume box to help us convert from milliliters to cups. So I see milliliters in two places. Actually what you should do is you should actually just pause the video first and see if you can come up with the, the volume conversions on your own and if you get stuck that's where you want to keep watching. Part of the hard part of dimensional analysis problems is really learning learning to reason through your own um, problems and learn to troubleshoot um, through like when you get stuck. So I encourage you to pause and then keep going uh, when, you are get, when you get stuck or if you just need to check your answer. So what I would do is I would try to analyze this box to see where I have milliliters involved. There are milliliters here. There are milliliters here. So those are two potential conversions we're going to use. This conversion will take you from milliliters to liters. This conversion will take you from milliliters to cubic centimeters. If you chose to start off with this as one of your ratios, you will notice that there are no other conversions that involve cubic centimeters, which means this is going to um, give, like, you're going to hit a roadblock is what I'm trying to say. You're going to hit a roadblock with this conversion, so it's probably not the best one to use. But if you use this conversion, you're going to see that there are liters here, here, and here. Potential conversions that will help you get to cups. You might want to even look for cups to see what kind of conversions you'd be interested in using. Here are cups to fluid ounces. Here are cups to quarts. Now, a red flag might go up and say, oh, cups to quartz. I saw quartz down here, which is an indication or a clue that we're going to use this conversion to take us from milliliters to liters, this conversion to take us from liters to quartz, and this conversion to take us from quartz to cups. Here are those three conversions. Now, I may have them flip-flopped. I may have them in a different order. It doesn't matter. We're just listing down the ratios we see on the paper to help us um, get from 323 milliliters to cups. We always start with the given over one as our starting point. And then we try to figure out what goes down here based off of the unit in the given. So if the given is in milliliters, we want milliliters down here too. So I'm going to take this number, this 1,000 milliliters, because that's the only place I see milliliters on my ratios, and I'll put it in the denominator. Then I'll take my other side of the ratio, the one liter part, and put it in the top. If you want to, you can also check off this ratio off your paper so that you don't accidentally use it again. Then I can take this conversion the one liter, and I'm going to put it diagonal because remember, I want the units to be the same diagonally. So one liter goes in the bottom, 1.06 quarts goes in the top, and now I'm going to finish off the problem. If I have quarts in the top, I need quarts in the bottom. I've already used this, so you can check that off too. I'll have my one quart in the bottom, four cups in the top, and now just to double check my units, milliliter, milliliter, liter, liter, quart, quart, cups. So I know I'm in the right track because I want cups. Now for the calculator. I always say that we can skip calculating the ones 
because mathematically they are not going to affect our answer. Anything multiplied and divided by one is itself. But let me go ahead and say the ones um, in the calculation just so you know how you would incorporate the numbers should you see it in a, uh, should it be a different number in a future problem. So I can go left to right. 323 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 1,000 times 1 1.06 divided by 1 times 4 divided by 1. Here's my calculator answer. And then if I round it to 3 sig figs, because the given has 3 sig figs, I end up with 1, 2, 3. 6 rounds up, 2, 7, and that's how I got 1.37. My final unit is the unit that does not cancel out its cups.